What is up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here. Guess who's back? Back again. Sage is back. Go tell a friend. All right. So, so basically, um, as you guys noticed this morning, I posted uh, one of the old videos that I had on my channel. It was my most popular video: proper surface conditions for fruiting. And uh, yeah, so I posted it. A lot of you guys came out for the live stream. I was really, really surprised at how many of you guys came out. And I'm so happy to, I was so happy to see you guys. So thank you guys. Uh, and of course, liking and subscribing will help the videos. I know in a past video, I said that, you know, you don't have to do it. Obviously you don't have to do it, but I would appreciate it if you could, because especially with the situation now, uh, where I'm basically sort of starting over. Um, yeah, any help will be great. Uh, so yeah, if you like this content, if you like to support it, like, and subscribe. Thanks guys. All right, so let's get to the video. So this video basically, um, so with this channel, I'm gonna be, as I did this morning, posting old content that's slightly edited or maybe updated, which I did with the with the video that I posted today. I did update it. So that I'm, I'm looking at this as a good opportunity because, you know, after a few months, I'm like, oh, I wish I, I changed what I said here or I wish I added this in here and stuff. So I'm taking this as an opportunity to sort of um, update my videos a little bit. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be posting that kind of old stuff, updated stuff. And I'm also going to be posting new stuff, stuff that I can post, right? And uh, here, so I, you know, basically I've been out of commission for three weeks, guys, right? So, you know, I was posting every day and suddenly I just went MIA for basically three weeks of this month. And so, you know, a lot has happened since because I haven't stopped cultivating, right? I haven't stopped uh, doing what I do. So um, a lot of things, a lot of updates has happened uh, cultivation wise. Uh, I can't go through all of it, but basically, I got a whole new range of genetics, guys, because you guys are awesome, right? Because you guys have been sending me some awesome genetics, like so many cool stuff, you know? And it's just so sick, guys, awesome. And and also recently I got a print for, um, for a species from Mexico that likes to grow on grass. I don't know the name, but uh, I'm just gonna call them Mexican grass lovers. And uh, I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, they, they are related to Floridian uh, grass lovers, which I did post uh, quite a few videos on. Uh, so, but, but you know, although they're in the same family, right, um, they, they are different species. So I'm very looking forward to it. Uh, apparently they're very, very tasty, very delicious, you know, and they even produce truffles. Yeah, anyways, uh, so we have um, basically uh, pure dung lovers, you know, tropical dung lovers. And uh, I don't have any coconut lovers growing, um, but uh, I, I do have dung lovers growing. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. And unfortunately, the poo cake stuff will, will be kind of late because, well, they're behind me right now. Um, basically, it's going to take a while to colonize is all I can say. Uh, but the grains are doing great. I got, uh, let's see, I got like... I must have like four of them at least. I think I have four. No, I got like three. I got three different jars of poo lovers growing on rye. And this is the most advanced one. And as you can see, it's very, very close to fully colonized. And let's see when I uh, spawn this on the 23rd. So today is the 31st, so eight days. Eight days. Um, yeah, eight days. And this is from Liquid Inoculant. It took a long time for the liquid inoculant to, to show my ceiling for these guys uh, for some reason. And I had another jar and I put too much liquid inoculant in there. So that one got bacteria, unfortunately. Um, and I also had another jar where I used a whole agar wedge and I put it in there. And I knew it was kind of a sketchy one because um, I sliced it all up, you know, it, it's, it's sketchy. So um, yeah, basically that one tricked out. Um, but uh, this one's doing great. Uh, so yeah, I've had like a lot of problems with green mold recently. Um, as you can see, like here, you know, this kind of stuff coming on my plates. Uh, not on all of them, you know, like this right here is probably gonna turn green over there. Um, you can see like here as well. I mean, cause you know, it looks like all of my plates are contempt. Actually, most of them aren't. I'm just showing you from my, one of my contempt piles. Look at that. So anyways, I gotta have to throw those out soon, but um, yeah, with uh, these guys, they're colonizing very fast, right? It took a while for them to show growth, but now they're going really fast. And you know why? Because I have started experimenting with doing more than one shake. So 
this is shake. I shook this up, I believe, yesterday as well. My second shake was yesterday. So I'd shake it up like pretty quick first, right? And uh, and then I would wait maybe two, three days, and then I would shake it again. So look at how fast this is, guys, right? And you know, with the liquid inoculant, for some reason, maybe I put too much, but it took longer for it to show growth than with just using a straight agar wedge. Um, so I, I believe it might've been even faster if I used just a agar wedge. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll probably use less water next time for liquid inoculant. Um, but check it out, guys. Beautiful. Uh, it's going to be ready soon. So this is, uh, we're going to have some poo cake soon. Um, uh, not poo cake, sorry. Um, poo boxes, right? We're going to have poo boxes with um, poo lovers. So uh, yeah, I've got two more jars of poo lovers. Uh, let me just check which ones they are. Uh, yeah, so they're the guys in the back here. I just shook them up today. I just shook them up today. So yeah, they're not showing much growth. Today or yesterday night. Um, yeah. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, yeah. These are all, um, these are all Floridian grass lovers, right? So they're looking real nice. Got some big pieces in there, as you can see, big agar wedges. Um, but yeah, just because I got a lot of a lot of uh, plates of them, so I can be I could afford to be a little bit uh, generous with the amount I'm putting in. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to be doing double shake with these guys um, because the reason that I started doing double shake is because you know up until now um, the the knowledge was the understanding was that. Uh, it's best to just shake once because for the because mycelium has to recover every single time you shake, right? And that takes a lot of energy, right? So that that was the idea behind it. Shake it at thirty percent, right? That was the idea behind it. But some people that I do follow and that are good cultivators recently have started to do more than one shake, and uh, you know, and they swear by it. So I, I thought, okay, I'm going to try it out. Basically, uh, so I'm doing double shakes and the benefit of doing a double shake, right, is because generally one of the benefits of doing one shake, obviously the main benefit is faster colonization, right? But another uh, secondary uh, reason is to see if you got any contaminants hiding in your grains, right? So if you shake and they don't recover, you know, that means that you got a, you had contaminants and it saved your time because then you didn't have to go through the whole fruiting process, you know, emotionally invested in it, whatever. So, um, that's the benefit now but the thing is even with one shake sometimes contams uh could you know have not germinated yet you know they might germinate after the second shake and then you got the problem so the second shake uh sorry after the first shake right so the so the benefit of the second shake is that you got two chances to see whether there are any contaminations in your spawn and really ensure whether your spawn is truly clean um, is it necessary? No. One shake is generally fine, especially if you got time. One shake is fine. But um, for me, it's doing pretty damn well, wouldn't you say? I mean, look at that. Almost fully colonized, guys. So very, very happy about that. Uh, and I'm very excited about the, the Floridian uh, grass lovers, right? Because I got four. Two, there are two different varieties. One of them was a very yellowy one because these mycelium... Uh, this species does tend to turn yellow and orangish and even would start to form sclerotia on um, agar. And I actually did transfer one of the sclerotia that grew on agar. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a good uh, fruiting culture and a good stone culture. And uh, these guys should uh, do it. So two of them I'm, I intend, I intend, maybe not, you know, maybe I just want to fruit them. I don't know, but I one of the two of them I intend to keep for a little bit longer in vitro in the jar to see what they grow out, and two of them I would like to go straight to fruiting. So two of them are from clones, and two of them are from uh, just good agar cultures uh, that we're producing stones. So that's basically what's going on, guys. I'm sure there's some other stuff, but basically this is all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'll make a separate video on that. I was going to make a video on this, on the poo cakes. I'll make a separate video on that. It was an interesting experiment, all right, with iffy results, but it, they, are, they are actually are getting some results. I know you guys don't understand the context probably, but I'll make another video on that. So here we have a uh, bacterial contaminated um, Floridia, Floridia, <laughs> Floridians, Floridians, right? We got some bacterial Floridians. And basically uh, these guys, um, 
Okay, so first of all, remember, if you guys remember, these guys had a really, really crazy bottom layer, right? You can see a little bit here. See the two-tone layer, right? But the thing is, they are just starting to eat up that layer. Like these, this mycelium, the Floridium mycelium is just so, so damn powerful. They are so hardy. They survived the suitcase, you know, in the dead of summer and they're just, you know, coming back and they colonize this whole big layer of core. Now, the problem with these guys though, is I cased them quite a long time ago. First of all, they took forever to colonize the top. And then the second point is, here's the casing layer, right? Nice and moist, just as they should be, but there's no mycelium poking up, there's no fruits, and it's been over a week. So these guys are just taking for ages. And the second one, okay, is, um, yeah, here we are. So basically this guy also, this guy just ate up all the bottom layer. There's a, there's a little bit left somewhere. But as you can see, completely dirty, dirty spawn. Oh, what is that? Could be, uh, could be a stone there. Uh, so basically, I hope it's a stone. But basically I put um, core on here, right? And as you can see, the top layer, I made it a lot smaller than the last one. Here, let me just change my hand. Okay, so um, yeah. So they are colonizing again. So really what the challenge comes, where the challenge comes is when I put the casing, will they actually start fruiting? And okay, so a lot of you guys might be asking, why why are you going through all this trouble of trying to fruit these bacterial jars? Why, I mean, it's just, it'll just save time, Sage, if you just start a new culture like you are here. I get it, guys. I completely understand, but you know what? Um, I just feel bad. Like, cause I'm gonna like pressure cook them while they're still alive. You know, they held on for so long. They survived the summer, you know, and terrible conditions that I put them in, but out of necessity, right? Um, cause I needed to hide stuff, but basically, you know, it just feels awful to have to kill them, you know, because they've just worked so hard. They've come so far and they're still alive and they want to live. That's why they're, you know, albeit slowly, they're still colonizing, right? So I just feel like bad to not even give them a chance to, you know, like throw out some spores, right? Um, so that's basically it. You know, it just feels awful to just pressure cook them while they're alive because they're like my pets, so. <laughs> and, I, and I bought a bunch of new jars as well. Um, but you know, cause I was gonna throw this out. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just some funky mycelium, I think. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. But uh, yeah, you know, it's inter it's interesting. Even now, they're still like, you know, fighting back against the weird layers. Um, I was going to throw these out in the pressure cooker. And I was like, something was telling me, this is just awful. I put it in the pressure cooker and I was going to turn it on. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, this ain't right. You know, something was calling me to just leave this guy. So I'm just going to leave him and let him do its thing, you know, in the corner. And let him do whatever. So... Yeah, that's basically what's going on, guys. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this. You know, if it contams out, whatever. But uh, that's always the name of the game, you know. So anyways, it's really good to be back, guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this new video. I'm going to be posting a lot more. I'm very happy, you know, but I got some PTSD from the last <laughs> from the last channel because it was like every time I get some false hope that it's like, bam, you know, taken down. So... Yeah, good, great to be back, guys. Michael File Sage, checking out.